Hi, I'm Kerry Dell, and I'm here to show you your wild fit measurements. So we want to dive straight in and we want to do the measurements today as soon as possible, as soon as your tribe starts, as soon as your wild fit journey starts, you want to do those measurements because they're going to start changing. So um, hopefully I can give you some tips on how to do these measurements when you're on your own, because it is much easier if you've got somebody to do them with you. But if you're on your own, it is still very, very doable. So the first thing we want to do is we want to measure the shoulders. So in order to measure the shoulders, we want to take it from this point over here and go all the way around. So what I normally do is I go around the back of my shoulders, I line it up at that point, and then I move the tape measure around like that. And where that connects there, that there is your measurement, there. Okay, so that is your shoulders. Then we want to do the chest. Now, ladies, please, if you're going to do the chest, wear the same bra every time or wear the same underwear or wear the same clothes that you're going to be wearing every time because we want to make sure that we do the right measurement and it needs to be, it needs to be over the top part of your chest, of your breast. So it needs to be where the nipples line up and that is going to be your chest measurement. Now, when we look at the waist, the waist is where you actually bend. Where does your body bend naturally? That is your waist. So it's normally the smallest part. It's really the smallest part of your torso. That is your waist measurements. Then your belly measurements is going to be the biggest part. It's the biggest part of the belly, and that's where we want to measure. So what is the biggest part of the belly? It's normally the part that sticks out the most. So that's what we want to do. Then when we look at the butt, we want to take the widest part of the butt. So it's really good if you've got a mirror as well, because you can have a look, what is the widest part of my butt? And that is going to be your butt measurements there. When we look at the thighs, we're going to be taking just under the butt. So it really is just under the butt, and we want to make it straight like that. So that is going to be your thigh measurement. When you look at your upper leg, your upper leg is actually above your knee. Just above your knee is going to be your upper leg because sometimes we actually carry a, quite a bit of a bulge just here on the upper leg and we want to measure that as well. So that's going to be your upper leg. And then your calf measurement is going to be the widest part of your calf. So where is the biggest part of your calf? So we can have a look and measure the biggest part of your calf. And then your ankle is going to be just above your ankle bone. That's where we want to measure there. Now, when we're measuring our arms and the circum circumference of our arms, what we want to do there is we want to take it from the top of our shoulder down to our elbow. So we want to measure from the top of the shoulder down to the elbow. And if we have a look at that measurement, that measurement on me is 30. So I want to halve that. So I want to go down to 15. So there is my 15 mark. Now that is my halfway mark. So then what I want to do is I want to make sure that I put the tape measure on the 15, on my halfway mark. That is going to be my measurement. Now, we, want, we don't want to do it on the biggest part or the smallest part of the arm. We want to do it on the halfway part of the arm. That is your circumference of your arm, and that is going to be your measurement of your arm. So I hope this has helped explain a couple of the measurements for you and so that you can do them on your own and just get them done. Use a nice um, tape measure not a strip tape measure. This one is going to work really well for you. And remember to do it same place every time. That's what we want to do. We want to do the measurements in the same place every time. And we want to do it as soon as your journey starts. As soon as the challenge starts, get them done because you're going to have changes. I have seen changes in the weight release, but I've also seen a lot of changes in the measurements. And we want to be inspired by both of those. So go for it, everybody. Have a really brilliant journey and I will see you soon. Bye.